Hey, this is John with Six String Country, and we're going to learn a song, To a T, recorded by Ryan Hurd. To a T was written by Laura Veltz, Nathan Spicer, and Ryan Hurd himself. The song is in B, and it's going to feature a super simple strum pattern um, on the acoustic guitar. And we're going to learn some, um, some pedal steel licks on the electric guitar and some big chords. Let's get started. Off your makeup, nobody is around. It's you and me, girls, but you got down. I see right through you, I know what it means. I know I got it. Close your eyes, I know I'm doing something right. I, I got you down to a T. It's the last time I'll ever hold you. Girl, every detail leading up to me. Lay back and let go. You don't even have to say anything. So for the rhythm guitar here, I'm playing my acoustic. Um, capo 2. Um, the songs in B, we're going to play it in the, in the A shapes, so the key of A. Um, so just a few chords that we're going to learn are just a run-of-the-mill A chord. It's open A string, second fret D and G strings. You can add that B string, second fret, if you want. Um, run-of-the-mill E chord, open E, uh, second fret A, second fret D, first, um, first fret on the G string. Open B and E strings. Um, F sharp minor, that's going to be a second fret low E string, a fourth fret A and D strings, and second fret G string. For D, uh, just a run-of-the-mill D chord. You can get rid of that high E string. It's, uh, it tends to sound a little too happy there. Um, but open D string, second fret G, third fret B. Those are the chords we're going to be using, just those three, um, those four. And um, just a side note about this song in particular, um, there's not a ton of guitar work. So I wanted to uh, keep it in mind that, that those of you who re requested this song, um, you're probably looking for just the changes in the song um, and a way to kind of play it and sing it. So I'm going to take that approach. Um, so we're adding, I'm adding some acoustic guitar and taking some liberty here. Um, I'm going to do a lot of the accents in the verses that aren't, aren't there. Um, so just starting from the uh, verse, there's going to be a lead guitar is going to do a slide part and the synthesizer is going to take over and then we're going to come in right with the vocals. So this is the first verse. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> chorus. I just let that ring out. Um, you want to just try and get whatever feels the best. Um, like I said, you might be finding yourself doing all down strums um, or find down, down, up, down. Um, you just want to get those inflections. Um, I find it easier than mo most of the time I'm naturally going down, down, up, down. Um, but I do do a derivative here and there, just trying to get those inflections. If this is too hard for you, um, if you're a beginner learning some rhythm guitar, just go down, up, down, up. Uh, don't, you know, you can maybe... So uh, that's the rhythm lesson of the song. Let's put all this to tempo. Here is the first verse. It's just a strum pattern. One, two, three, four. Here's all the pre-choruses. One, two, three, four. So for the lead guitar in this song, 
Um, I confess there's not a ton um, to study here. Um, I did try and take a few elements um, that were in the production that were not electric guitar, but um, try and kind of make them um, a part for you guys to learn. Um, we're gonna, for starters, I'm just gonna grab a slide and just, um, there's kind of like a, it sounds like like a modified synth, there could be a steel guitar, um, a modified steel that's sliding up in the intro of the song. Um, for just starters, we would, I just tried to grab that. It ended up sounding more like something, um, you know, in the leaning towards Pink Floyd as opposed to uh, pop country, but um, just try and grab that. It was something on the fourth fret, just a D, G, and B strings. And we're gonna slide all the way up to the 16th fret. Um, just moving from a B to a B. So that's what we're gonna be doing here for tone. Um, coming in that out of that pre-courses. We're going into our choruses. Um, choruses are just gonna be big chords. Just using a B, uh, B major bar chord, seventh fret E string, ninth fret A and D strings, eighth fret G string, seventh fret B and E strings. Real simple here. One strong, big diamond there. F sharp, second fret E string, fourth fret A and D strings, third fret G string, second fret B and E strings. G sharp minor, fourth fret E string, sixth fret A and D strings, fifth fret G string, fourth fret B and E strings. Oh, sorry, do not play that fifth fret G string. It should all be on the fourth fret. You'll get fired. Going to an E chord, um, open E string, second fret A and D, first fret B, first fret G, and then open B and E strings. So those are our chords. Here are all the choruses. One, two, three, four. 